Dirty, you're not in my hair. Hi. You gotta go this way. Oh! Am I allowed to wear logos? Yeah, wear a fast kitty. Oh! Can, can they see my seborrheic dermatitis outbreak on my upper lip that looks like crusty milk? <laughs> it's really disgusting. What is that? What is seborrheic dermatitis? It's all right. It's like, oh, you can see it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. No one will know. All right, all right she's a goth. Start off, girl. All right. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We've got lots of people, mostly from Jake's channel, I would assume. But this no, is, no, no, no. Yes. <laughs> but either way, so glad to have you guys. Today, we're talking about our brand new Tokyo Creative Learn, which is so exciting. This is a new launched, newly launched project. And if you guys don't know what it is, well, I mean, we'll be talking a little bit about the details of it. Um, but maybe, Chris, did you want to introduce about it? What sure. is Tokyo Creative Learn? Uh, so it's basically an educational platform with kind of all of the, our famous TC influencers, including Jake, talking about his stream setup. Uh, you're, I think Abroad in Japan is kind of known on your channel too. Yeah, yeah a lot of people know him. So Abroad in Japan, Japan yeah. yeah, he's on there, Janime Man, talking about how to start a YouTube channel, how to make YouTube thumbnails, how to make YouTube titles. Um, and we're going to have those videos as well as a community to help answer any questions related to Japan. Oh, that's awesome. So it seems like at the moment, well, we don't have everyone on there at the moment, but we do have um, some of our big, our big influencers, and they will teach you everything about how to make content, essentially. Um, but eventually, I've heard that we're going to be expanding even more into like other industries. Yeah, right? so I mean, we have... Oh, they also know Kim then, huh? Right. Uh, some of them, yeah, some of them know Kim Dao. Yeah, she's yeah. on stream before too. Kim Dao will be on. Uh, we'll also have talking about you know beauty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> not not necessarily like how to do your makeup and that kind of stuff, but how she actually makes her makeup tutorial videos. And also um, Instagram, I guess. Please. Instagram too. Yeah. How she how to take a beautiful Instagram photo. Yeah. Yeah, because everyone wants to know how to do that. That's so true. Uh, for me, my. <laughs> but I think I that, want to learn how to do but that. the key point is that actually there's going to be many profession, many people from different professions mm. talking about how they made it as a foreigner in Japan. So mm. finance, marketing, advertising, design, uh, developer. We even have a voice actor coming actually on board. Ooh, so um, exciting stuff. Ooh, yeah. that'll be lots of fun. It's so actually, it's actually like a, I don't know, like what I'm still talking about. But it's actually like true. Like I get messages all the time from people, like a lot of people that watch. Maybe but I, I don't know, everyone that's watching is always a few people, a handful, but I always get messages like they're going to come here and they're like, if it's not specifically just coming to Japan to start living here or something, they're going to come in here because they want to try like YouTube. And mm. it's actually kind of interesting that that's yeah. like a huge, like, I don't know if it's more popular now than before. Maybe you know that, but I feel like it's so super popular. Maybe it's just because I'm in well, my position. When I started like six, uh, four or five years ago, uh -huh. there's only like five channels. Yeah. Oh, right? wow. And now there's like hundreds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so obviously there's this kind of, niche or it's kind of this demand for people wanting to become like a social media mm -hmm. influencer right. in Japan specifically. Right. Um, just because so many people are coming to Japan now from Western countries. So we want to give our advice and tips about how to do that if you wanted to. Um, but that's just one section of the video tutorials that we want to create. Mm -hmm. The bulker, the bigger section is more just about general Japan. How to get a visa, how to get a working visa, mm -hmm. um, how to find an English speaking doctor. I'm gonna make that. Oh yes, yeah. that's a great. Because I don't know, I don't know where to find an English speaking doctor. Actually, I need to research myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're um, out there. Yeah, I've definitely heard of yeah. some. But so that's obviously people wanting to live here, um, as well as if there's any like issues renting an apartment mm -hmm. in Japan, mm -hmm. um, how to actually uh, go about that. So yeah. Yeah, Chris will teach you all of those things. <laughs> and Chris, you've already made a couple of videos on the website, and you've talked about yep. like. You know, starting up, you're talking about starting up like to creative and like how to work in Japan, um, and basically like struggles of like. So yeah, like the I think the actually the my video has the most comments on it. Oh, congratulations! Beating abroad in Japan, thank you very much. <laughs> so far, as as of now, as of this live stream, it's beating abroad in Japan. So oh, yeah. that's awesome. So my the that's video that's done really well is. Um, from English teacher to CEO, basically how I did that track, mm -hmm. because I think most foreigners come to Japan. Or an English teacher. Right. Um, the most simple track after that is to become a recruiter, mm -hmm. uh, and then a lot of times, as a foreigner, you're kind of lost about how to actually do anything else, or you just leave Japan because you kind of give up. Right. So, um, yeah, I was just talking about all of my failures and how I could take advantage of all the failed opportunities or opportunities that were presented to me, and uh, just kind of 
scale my career. <gasps> that's awesome. I think that's something that a lot of people would want to know about. I mean, mm -hmm. realistically, people who want to come here um, and stay here just because mm -hmm. they, they feel so comfortable here. It's it's hard to figure things out and navigate like mm -hmm. work and yeah. and living and getting an apartment. It's such a hassle. It's so difficult to do and like getting your visas extended, etc. So we can teach you guys all about that on Tokyo Creative Learn, essentially. Yes through our own experiences. Mm -hmm. And also, I saw that you had some videos up already. Uh, yeah, we have, like just the basic one is just about like hardware-wise, stuff mm -hmm. that I use, but it'll go more in depth, like kind of just how I started and um, what I've learned and sharing that knowledge, I guess, from, I guess it could even be from like the philosophy of what I think, like the psychology is behind beyond life streaming and all those little mother people, mother, I'll say, can I say mother truckers? It's like a joke, it's like not sure. <laughs> All the little mother truckers that like watch the stream um, to just like kind of maybe not educating but just spreading more about yeah educating I guess but like more about Twitch culture and like the knowledge behind mm -hmm. like, not just Twitch in general but just live streaming I guess because I mean other than just streaming which has only been like a year and a half for me I've been on Twitch for a long time as a viewer so I guess I kind of understand like the hopefully inner workings of of how it works so. right no I'm sure you do like clearly you've worked your way through this for, yeah. for a while now, so you yeah. know you know how to do it. Yeah. So who better to go to than Jake, really, to learn if you want to get started? Yeah, my goal is to train the normies to be Twitch chat uh, positive. Like, Twitch chat yes. positive, yes. Like, <laughs> that could be you. <laughs> uh, even most like YouTube, like, right now we have already, I, I'm seeing on the comments, they're like, oh, the quality is crap. Honestly, we don't know live streams. So I'm here for. I mean, <laughs> right? yeah. should have been here. So like, hour ago like as a as a from a YouTuber or Instagram background, or like you know managing those talents, they don't really do live streams. Mm -hmm. So we're yeah. don't, we are actually very amateur with live streams. So I'm sorry about the. They're complaining about the audio quality and the video quality. <laughs> oh, no. Apologies. We're using oh, our man. we're using our face camera, face, uh, what's that called? Front camera on our Mac. <laughs> yeah. With that as the mic as well. Oh so. my goodness, you don't even have a mic on they're, 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 they're complaining that Jake's backpack is better than mine. Yeah, <laughs> uh, for sure. I mean, we, yeah, next time. We, I mean, technically I could hook up my backpack to your YouTube channel and stream to your YouTube channel directly, but. Oh, you can do that? Yeah, but it would actually take a little bit of work. But I mean, you can just buy the real Logitech. Oh, I'll, I'll, yeah, like you gotta show us. See, or make a video, make yeah, a video. Yeah, that, that How to convert your laptop computer <laughs> to a high-end streaming. Uh, yeah, yeah. Try, that could totally be. You might need something else. See, we could learn from you too. Clearly, <laughs> yeah, those things, yeah, yeah, those things we don't know. Yeah. Exactly. I think there's a little something for everybody on TC Learn because yeah. no matter what you're interested in, you might be interested in like yeah. how to set up these kind of tech things, or also just like how to get started in Japan and various industries. Um, and I was wondering, like, what other industries were you guys hoping to expand to later? Um, well, first we just got like the big people under Tokyo Creative so that we can, you know, have a nice push and get the word out that this platform does exist. Mm -hmm. So that's why we, we start out with um, Jake, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake, uh, <laughs> abroad in Japan. <laughs> Joey, the anime man. Aki, Aki Dearest. So two of the biggest otaku YouTubers. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Charla, Charla Charmander. Charmander. Mm -hmm. uh, and then myself, just because it was convenient since I was here anyways. <laughs> Emma. Oh, and Emma, Tokyo Tokyo Traveler, That's which is the host cute. of our Tokyo Creative Play mm -hmm. YouTube channel. Um, so combined, like fan wise, I think it's like, what, 5 million fans, I think, give or take. The amount wow. of people that we have currently on board mm -hmm. with uh, combining all those social media channels. And then after that, we want to go to our uh, more smaller channels, so like Drift Hunter. Yeah, okay. Have you used Drift Hunter? Yeah, we, yeah. we got Albo. Albo. We took a, remember, you guys remember we took Albo to like the, uh, we took a shot in his car to this friend. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, I had a lot of fun with that. Mm. Yeah. Sounds amazing. Yeah. And then, have you, have you ever streamed like with Tokyo Lens? No, but I met him at that okay. here. He like has a bunch of cool talents that I wish I had. Like he yeah. plays like little like, yeah. 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 I don't know what that's called. Yeah. The tooth, the little, Guitar, like, I don't know. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it reminds me of like a fro pick, I was gonna say, like, yeah, <laughs> it does. It's like it's a like Japanese a banjo or something. Tiny comb. <laughs> yeah, but it's very cool. He's so talented. So he's gonna make videos too. Yeah. Um, because actually, he's a, he's a full time influencer as well. Yeah. Um, and just kind of, he wants, I wanted him to talk about how he kind of made that move. Mm. Um, and then we have other, 
people like Bunny Tokyo, Elsa, mm -hmm. who's literally just an Instagrammer slash blogger. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, she, she's actually Spanish. Um, so it's kind of interesting to get other cultures in there as well, instead of just mm -hmm. Americans or people from uh, UK. Um, she's going to be talking about how to run a popular blog in Japan, as well as how to take really good photos on mm -hmm. Instagram, travel photos on Instagram. Um, and then after that, we want to branch out to more like generic professions. Um, like I mentioned before, like finance, like a finance professional, mm -hmm. a marketing actor, professional, voice actor, voice actor. designer. Um, yeah. And if there's any other job profession out there that maybe um, they would suggest that they'd want to see because they are doing that in their home country mm. and they want to make the move to Japan, then mm -hmm. please let us know. Yeah. I've, had, I've had a lot of people that come here and they're uh, like viewers of mine that are either visiting here or they're working remotely, but a lot of them are like software engineers or programmers. Mm. And I don't know what they work, they don't really talk about like exactly where, but I think that's also like, because it's just on the internet, like internet people in general, there's a lot of software. Mm -hmm. you know, well, we get, we get that question quite a lot. And I think actually in my video, if you watch it, um, <laughs> I actually mentioned that I really wish I knew web development. Oh, yeah prior to coming to Japan, yeah. because in my opinion, because you know, it's code, right? Everyone, it's a global language. Yeah. Oh, okay. So as long as you can code, you, you're virtually kind of exempt from this rule of trying to learn Japanese almost. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, as well as the salary is also really, really high. Yeah. And they're very, very much in demand right yeah. now. So I actually mentioned that if I actually could redo my, my life <laughs> 10 years ago, I would have studied web development mm. um, to make, if I did want to come to Japan and live comfortably without all of these barriers, so to speak. Right. Yeah. I have a question though. If you did do web design, I mean, this is a little off topic, but if you did do web design, do you think that you would have still done YouTubing? Uh, no. Yeah, you <laughs> probably wouldn't have. I would, I would, I would have been, I would have been, I would have been behind a computer like Ian or John. Oh, John, John. <laughs> oh, they just saw Ian outside. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah. They know John though, right? Oh, they love John. Yeah, John, John's John. a web developer. He's just always John. behind a computer. That's why we want him to get out of the office and go with you to explore. Dude, they always ask get me like, when, when is the next John stream? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. John stream. Yeah, we should get John on here too, like on TC Learn. He can teach us all about pro, like web design. And he's Perfect. so young. And he came here. Um, Wait, how old is he? We have John, how young is the college? Is he? John, mm -hmm. like twenty-two. Oh, but he started career in Japan, right? Mm -hmm. He uh, he did he did, did, he? He did a lot of background in. Uh, he's only twenty-two, so the, his experience is kind of like limited, right? Yeah. yeah. For, for the age, for yeah. the age. Yeah. But he's very talented, oh. and we we wanted to hire him. If uh, he doesn't need to start from. Uh, English teacher because yeah. he has very good skills. <sighs> but for the other industries also, uh, the bad thing about Japanese uh, culture still, even though we want to communicate with you guys, we want to hire really good skilled people, we we cannot communicate with you just because mm. language barrier. Right. But like uh, Chris, uh, you learn some Japanese, there are not more chances coming out. So we want to talk about those step by step, how mm. to be uh, how to open, how to scale yourself in Japan, and those things are also could be like other yeah other topics mm -hmm. in on TC Okay, okay. yeah. So if you guys are interested in that platform, mm -hmm. uh, in the month of March, which is another what is it? What is it? <laughs> Sixty fifteen? Half to yeah, halfway through. Yeah, yeah halfway through another two weeks. You can actually go on to Creative Learn. The link is in the description uh, down below, mm -hmm. and you can sign up. You can play around, what, look at the videos, um, and your first 30 days uh -huh. for signups in March are free. Uh -huh. So you can watch Jake's video about how he did his setup, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was a, that was a hard one. Yeah. And it was like yeah. a 15-minute long video of literally explaining every little thingy in his backpack, whatever you want to call those things. I thought it was, I watched it. I thought it was really interesting. Is it interesting? Yeah. But there's so many little things there that I'm, I was like, like I was like, oh my gosh, this yeah. is, it's like a puzzle. Yeah. yeah, I know. But those are the things that like people don't know about. And that's why like, you know, if you want to get started, you're interested to know like yeah. all of those things. Like, yeah. Exactly how do you do it? What do you have in your bag? So currently we have 16 videos uh, across seven different uh, quote unquote influencers uh, or creators, how you want to call it, uh, with um, kind of a variety of topics. Being mm. discussed right. right. So, okay. so I, I just want to shout out Sean Nakamura. Thank you for the. Two dollars. There's no question here, though. 
<laughs> thank you thank you thank you Woo! boss coffee on sean baby <laughs> <laughs> and you guys if you have any questions about it so far like just so someone yeah up. so someone asked uh, i'm in tokyo right now is there going to be any meetups anytime soon um actually if you go on tokyo creative learn you can check out our meetup schedule uh, offline event schedule um i'm not sure if that's directed to us or jake but for us, yeah, just, uh, turn everything to you. I, oh, to I, us? Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I told them they have questions for you. They wouldn't come here. They can ask me later. Okay. So, yeah, so, yeah we, have, we, have a, we have a schedule on the offline events in the Tokyo Creative Learn link down, uh, down below. The next one, I think, is April 28th, I believe, in Shibuya. So, sorry, whoever's in Tokyo right now. <laughs> is that like, <laughs> the Weeby Gamer? That's like a group, like a group type, like a public event with multiple people, or is it like. It's a private event. So oh, wait, you'll sign up through the website. Or sign up through the website. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I didn't, that's cool. Yeah. So please sign up through the uh, website. Uh, just a question. But is it kind of like the event that you guys held? Uh, yes. Earlier this month. Yes, but more themed. Okay. So the other was just a campaign for the journey across Japan. Right. The bicycle trip. If you guys know about abroad in Japan's bicycle trip. Mm. Um, but this one's probably more themed about learning something as opposed to that was more like a celebration. Yeah. This would be more themed learning. So maybe um, it might be something around uh, everything to know about finding a job in Japan. Cool. Mm. cool. Um, so those kind of topics. Okay. And we'll have a panel of like our our most popular YouTubers and then you can meet them and then learn something. Mm. Oh, that'll be awesome. Someone said that girl in red is hot. I think that's you, Shizuka. Is this is this red? <laughs> but thank you. Don't encourage those comments. <laughs> There's a little bit of red in it. It's like it's like a what is that? A plaid? Is that a plaid? It's plaid. Yeah. They, they only saw this <laughs> part of the red. It's gonna be a brown jacket. Like, a tiny bit of red. Apparently brown. So this is this is actually a good question. You. Made asked by uh, uh, a hand called Fuji family. Cool. I think you get permanent residence if you lived in here for 10 years, but I heard it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. So she's, uh, that person's talking about the PR or permanent residency in Japan, mm -hmm. um, that Japan for some reason has made very, very difficult. However, they're making it easier to get now. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be like really difficult. Do you? Yeah. Do you have? Oh, no, I'm, you, I'm actually a Japanese not. citizen. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. So I don't mm -hmm. need... You could be president. Maybe I actually would be natural born, right? Uh, so actually. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think know. I could. I think I could as long as I have citizenship. Oh, okay. I don't, um, okay. I don't know. It might be difficult to be elected, but we're, <laughs> I can run. We were thinking about going for president myself for Japan, but then we realized that's probably not going to happen. It might help if you if you understood that it was a prime minister as well, and not it's a president. A, so it seems like it seems like <laughs> president <laughs> doesn't exist. It seems like many people are asking questions about actually working visas. Um, yeah. So I think uh, actually Shirley over here handles. Many of our working visas. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> I think Shirley knows the most actually about working visas. Mm -hmm. What's but so far it's so required. Um so far I couldn't find anything in common because each person is quite different. That it depends on which you uh sorry, it depends on uh sorry, I'll just say that. Uh, the... depends on each person's credentials and qualifications. Yeah, sorry. There yeah, that, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, That's my fine. English uh, head of class. Your English is fine. Because without degree, it's quite quite hard to apply. But even though without degree, there are some kind of chances. Mm -hmm. But uh, th those topics are quite sensitive because yeah. we cannot say like, oh, you definitely can get yeah. for even the person who has the degree. Mm -hmm. So I learned, uh, oh, it's uh, totally up to you you or what kind of career you did in the, their own country oh, also the nice. career path because the uh if you have the marketing degree if i want to try to be like an engineer mm -hmm. japanese uh japanese not an immigration mm -hmm. think it eh, this person is supposed to be marketer but why now is applying for engineer but most perhaps this guy actually learned himself taught himself yeah to to learn being engineer but we don't see this guy as the engineer just because the degree is based on marketing. So um, there are so many things. It's um, um, just because you have degree, you guarantee to be in Japan. Right. It's really tough. And, but those topics also, of course, we cannot talk uh, as if we know everything. Mm -hmm. But we can uh, talk to lawyer and just help uh, ask them help to understand or to make the good video what kind of uh, chances mm -hmm. they can get. Right. So 
that's how I usually work with lawyer to get a lot of consultation mm -hmm. for everyone in in the TC office. Oh, that's good. Nice. But so far, so far, so good, right? For our yeah. Mm. So uh, I mean, some people are asking about like the the term, like one, three, five years. So yeah, it just depends on the immigration office. Yeah, you can't choose. Typically, if you're a new a new person living in Japan, it's gonna be mm. one year. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes you guys uh, surprise each other. Hey, you got three. I got five. Uh, you got only one with them. I, I was right? lucky actually. The first time I did it, I got <laughs> a three true. year. Really? And then I applied. I had to renew it, and I got a five year. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> does that happen? Like some people. It depends who's nice. At <laughs> probably whoever's like pressing the like approve, <laughs> approve, if you approve, get a... <laughs> approve. You get a nice yes. person at the yeah at the maybe. What is the the office called that you go to for visa? The visa office. Immigration office. Immigration office. Yeah, that was oh. interesting. It's cool. Yeah. So you get a nice let's, person. Let's read out one of these comments. This guy says I'm Greek and I want to live in Japan permanently. Nice. Uh, Great comment. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, is that a question or like okay? Uh, good for you. I don't think Japan is discriminates against Greek people living in Japan permanently. No, I don't think. Yeah. Someone what? donated. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Someone keeps on saying ay, ay, ay in this. Ay, ay, just is a meme. I mean, we can just. Look oh, it's a meme? Up. It's just a meme that's just like about weebs. Hold on. Can I just read this comment out really quickly? Yeah. Okano equals best Chris. Chris Broad blows. <laughs> I was going to say Chris Board. It says Chris Board even better. Oh, Chris Board. <laughs> <laughs> and get ready for Broad Japan. Oh, wow. So funny. I love this person, Johnny. <laughs> Uh, someone said, Chris, where is the best content corner to stay in Japan? Is that yeah, like just, a, is uh, that a, anything that you think is like a comment, like just very trash related, yes. just ignore and just oh, take okay. the real ones. Because if you start catering to them, they're going to start asking. Oh. <laughs> it's just like a, yeah, it's a little. I this, this, is a good, this for me the other yeah. day. This is a good question. Is it hard, is it hard to get an entertainment visa? Ooh. I think that's actually one of the most difficult ones. Yeah. Especially mm -hmm. because. Um, social media influencers are not considered entertainers in Japan, like enter part of the entertainment industry in Japan. Entertainment industry is more like traditional uh, well, talents. So yeah, yeah model, yeah. actress, stage mm. uh, yeah. performer. Basically, the Japanese word of yeah. Genoji, right? Yeah. Basically, yeah. or talento, talento. Talento, yes. Right. And I believe, from what I know, like I don't, I don't need a visa, so I can't say for sure. But I, I think the best way to get an entertainment visa would be to be in a talent agency in Japan. Um, All right, shut up. <laughs> just a regular old talent agency, and uh, if you become like a full time talent with them, then I think they can help you mm. um, get like sponsor your visa, and then you can get the entertainment visa. Mm. But that also you need some kind of uh, experiences, right? Um, probably. I think you need mm. to have been working as a as an entertainer for In, a certain yeah. amount of time at mm. the agency. Um, but yeah, I think if you have a little bit of experience, I'm not sure how much you need, mm -hmm. um, then essentially I think you can get your entertainment visa. I see. So yeah. <clears throat> someone asked this question, it's a pretty good one. Um, is there a content on TC Learn uh, for people who want to work in the travel industry in general, like a blogger or a social media traveler? Like a, what, what do they call those? Travel nomads thing? Uh, digital nomads, digital nomads. Oh, like the guys on Instagram that say like, Okay, I'm also, I was going to rant right now. Maybe I should stop. Oh, uh, yeah, that's story. I was just, I was going to make like a kind of a sarcastic joke about. It. So, <laughs> Go for it. Just so, hey, hey, there's like be yourself, Jake. Joe, Jake. Okay, to be myself is like this. Digital nomad is like two types. There's actually someone who goes out and like is producing this stuff and like making this cool stuff and somehow has found his way to be successful and has sponsored stuff and making like it. And then there's the digital nomad who's like a self-proclaimed digital nomad that started in a multi-level marketing scheme and he's at the top of it. And he says, want to learn how to travel the world like me and my wife will learn about, uh, mm -hmm. just come come like do this. And then like, he actually just like gets, it's like this weird thing that he doesn't, he, I think he's, I think he's, I think he's, he's trying to, he's trying to watch what he says. Yeah. So <laughs> No, no, it's too fast. But. No, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah, basically, there's a lot of those people that who claim that they're a digital nomad and want to basically take advantage of it by creating some kind of online course to teach mm -hmm. everyone this is how you do it, despite this person most likely not being as successful as he claims to be. Mm -hmm. So there's always those ads that you see. But on our channel, um, we don't we don't promise anything. We don't claim we can make you X, Y, and Z. Uh, Chris Broad, for example, is talking about how he makes his specific travel videos in mm -hmm. Japan. Um, through you know the type of content that he researches, how he actually thinks of the narrative, 
how to use the title, the thumbnails, everything like that. However, it's just his for his case mm-hmm. for him, for him personally. So um, basically, you can take that, learn from it, and then create your own spin on however you want to do social media. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of what TC Learns about. We're not teaching you how to make a million dollars in a year.、Mm. Um, that's not the take of what we're trying to push out. But、right. same, on the same topic, you also can talk about. Shara also can talk about. Yeah, so、in、we have a... different, different. We have different perspectives、mm. on different ways to actually make video or create photo content or media in general.、Mm. Right. Um, so like, mine's very vloggy. Chris is very documentary,、mm. travelly. He hates mine. I hate his. And then, so, <laughs> 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 I hate both. <laughs> <laughs> We're all different, but that's that's the beauty of TC Learn, right? I should make all my learning stuff just actually live and then record it. Oh, talk about we never. Oh, and then chop it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so much easier, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like have these kind of sessions.、Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah,、um, someone says,、possible. "I love your channel and hope to meet you all in Japan." Thank you so much, Digital Ninja Two Seven Nine. Oh, he's not a ninja. No, not he's a ninja. Digital Ninja. That sounds. Hundred、wow. times cooler. Yeah, I'm gonna be a digital ninja. <laughs> I don't even know what that would entail. Sneaking around on the internet. Here's here's a good question. Is it difficult to make friends in Japan as a foreigner? I believe Chris Broad has made that video on TC Learn. Yeah, he did. Right? Yes, he made that video talking about how to make friends in Japan. But、on、if we, we can imagine what he's talking about, I have、that? no idea. So, but Tinder, I have no idea. Actually, Tinder. No, he has a lot、Tinder. of Japanese best friends. It's not public. It's not public yet. Oh, he doesn't. He has a lot of Japanese best friends. Yeah. Oh, from like okay, so、right. maybe he's actually going to like izakayas or bars、mm. or kind of mingling, right? But, you, yeah, but if you guys are interested, that video should be coming out. I'm not sure when, so you might as well subscribe now <laughs> and stay notified about、yes. when that video is coming out. So、yeah. once again, links in the description down below. Free 30 day trial、yes. in the month of March. Yes, in March only, and it's almost the end of March. So you guys gotta act quickly. Are there any stats on the gaijin hiring rates in Japan? Oh, good question, Daniel. Ooh, I wonder. That's how... an interesting question, actually. Yeah. I wonder, like, for what industry I'm doing. I wonder who. This, I mean, where's that broken up? Does like the government release that kind of information? Well, Japanese popu- population is、uh, increasing. Yeah, so should be. Like higher, right? It's increasing.、Mm-hmm. Increasing、mm-hmm. ratio. It's definitely increasing.、Um, yeah, because we have a we're having like a, a declining like youth in Japan. I mean, yeah, because we have a lot of elderly people, so the workforce is very small. Yeah, they're declining、Sorry. in height. Very difficult to work when you're tiny. She already struggles every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> But yeah, so it is. It it should be getting easier just because we do need more of a workforce.、Mm-hmm. Um, so that's why we also have a lot of like, well, lower wage workers as well who、yeah. who come from abroad,、oh, working、yeah. in convenience stores. Um, we need them actually. Like、yeah. the Japanese population isn't enough. So、mm-hmm. even in like more specialized industries, I think the more specialized you are, the higher your chances of getting hired、mm-hmm. would be. But、mm. Tokyo Creative only three four four Japanese, right? Right now.、Mm. Uh, staff.、Mm. Yeah. But startup in Japan are、uh, most likely hiring more、mm. foreigners. Yeah. Than Japanese. So, so someone's saying if you guys can speak louder. Ah, see my set. Okay. <laughs> we need some some, some pin mics.、Um, oh, no, but we're fine. You're not fine. Um, Speak、I'm、up,、not. little ones. Hello. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So wait. Yeah. So that's a that's a really good point.、Uh, is the crime still low in Tokyo? Not related, but kind of. I guess we can always answer that. But I don't know why every single time the、uh, crime crime is not happening so often. Yeah. But every single time something happens, it's crazy. Like the shooting in Shinjuku in the elevator.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you mean karaoke? Yeah, karaoke can, which is like. Also,、uh, a... for example, it's kind of more safe on the daily side, on a daily basis. But if there's some crazy guy, he's really crazy. Yeah. He's like chopping yeah, people yeah. up and like putting them in trunks and wrapping their bodies and serving them in miso soup. <laughs> yeah, but, but for the most part, it's safe. <laughs> I made that up, by the way. But the teeth. Oh my god. There's still teeth or something. There's what? Somebody in there. Teeth. What's that? Stolen stuff. Oh, teeth. Oh, teeth. Oh, teeth. <laughs> <laughs> There are no teeth. Less, less, less not many. Not many. Not many. How about this question? I'm a barber from Los Angeles and would love to move to Japan to cut hair. 
How would oh, that work? Um, hey, hey, you okay. know, you know that, you know that industry. Um, you no. do because my uh young younger brother, younger brother, right? Yeah, your younger, younger brother. Younger brother is stylist. Cool. In Japan, you need to go to the Semon Gakko. How do you subscribe uh, that? Uh, specialty school. Occupational yeah. school. Mm-hmm. Occupational Rio school. Gakko. Vocational. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. To, uh, the Rio Gakko. Vocational. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to Rio Barber, you are going, you are Rio uh, Shisan. So there are so, two kinds, right? The barber yeah. can just uh, shave your uh, beard. Yeah. But the uh, stylist cannot oh, do. Okay. So there are so many, I'm not familiar. Okay. I'm here familiar with those details because mm-hmm. it's just my younger brother yeah. stylist. But according to him, there are so many uh, certificates uh, yeah. they need to yeah. have. Japan has so much paperwork yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I, I, even when being a, they want to cut hair in Japan. And, and yeah. it's probably a foreigner like coming here as a hair cutter, like on a hair cutting visa. Yeah. Japan hires on like specialty, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Uh, special, specializations, like, yeah. yeah, just cut here, but yeah, I mean, it's true. Like, uh, I think it'll be harder than you would expect it to be. Like, you'd think that once you've learned how to like be a stylist, that you could do it anywhere, but I think Japan is very. They have very high standards for yeah. it, and uh, there's a very like specific way that they want to do it. Um, like when you wash their hair, like you gotta put like a thing on their face, and then you gotta like, yeah. You know, there's like there's lots of little things that they would probably nitpick about, and you'd need to go to school again, I would assume. Yeah, so but in Japanese, some of the some of the countries have the some they if they have the one specific certificate can cover convert though mm-hmm. convert, oh, convert. To, cover cover cover. Convert, convert, convert their... to the Japanese budget, oh, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. maybe. Oh, so okay. I'm not mm-hmm. sure about that, but uh, at least in Japan, uh, none, unless you don't have, unless you don't have, unless you go to the Gakko school, yeah, it cannot be the stylist, right? Mm. So, but maybe it's possible to convert some mm. of your certifications. Mm. Possibly. Some, someone asked, "What's the dating dating scene like in Japan?" <laughs> hey, that's Tokyo Creative Tea Time. Yes, we, we did talk yes. about that on Tea Time. Did we talk about? Oh, did we do it? No, we only did. Oh no, you weren't there. I was never the dating one. Oh no, we talked about confessions. We did nightlife. Yes. We and we wanted you to be the, the next one because yeah. we only talked about we were talking about dating in Japan. Yeah. And weirdly enough, we only covered confessions. Like, <laughs> there was a just, lot because there's actually there's a lot of yeah a lot of to talk about talk confessions. <laughs> You know, you know what we're talking about? Like confession, like you know, ja- in Japanese or I guess more like Asian cultures, you have to the stepping stones are kind of like set. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, maybe I don't. I, I like don't in, in in Western cultures, they're more blurred yeah. the lines. Yeah. But yeah. In, in like Asian cultures, they want to say exactly what are we? Yeah. So, are we exclusive? I like you. Are you my girlfriend? Like, yeah. yeah, I like yeah. you. And this needs to happen at an early stage, mm. usually, like before. Doing anything like some people even before you kiss, like right? Chris talked about that too. Yeah, we before talk. you kiss, you have to like verify what are we? <laughs> yeah, we're exclusive. We're official, is what they want. Yeah, official. yeah. So you have to kokuhaku, which means to confess, confess. confess your love yeah. for the other person. So yeah, anyways, we'll have more of those videos on this channel. So subscribe to our channel as well. Yeah, this is the talk Tokyo channel. Yeah, talk. So. Oh, nice. We talk about all those topics on here. So here's another good question. What's the best time to visit Japan? Oh, I think everyone has different. Spring and fall. Yeah. Is there any reason? Weather, just, it's not cold, not hot. It's nice. Yeah. Like in yeah, April and maybe uh, September, October is my, what I would say. Mm. April, September for me. We're actually, I'm actually going to be making those kind of travel S videos in Japan though, um, oh. on TC Learn as well. Kind of giving you advice about those specific topics because actually many people ask that kind of question. Um, but for me personally, it'd be summer. I actually am growing to like summer the most as well, even though it's it's really hot. Like it does get super hot and super humid, which is really frustrating. But <laughs> I think summer is the most fun. Like there's a lot of stuff happening in summer. Even though lots of festivals, yeah, fireworks. Um, it's super hot, but like, yeah, it's just, it's, and it's sunny every day. It's amazing. Wait, can I just say this? Oh, God, here we go. Japanese kiss is no kiss. What do you mean? You know, like in Japanese drama, they do a little peck. You're like, <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's I know. They'll lean in and they'll right? have, one of them will have their eyes open. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's like, it's, 
they're so surprised. I'm like, oh, you kissed me. <laughs> or they're talking about the other individual. It's like an ultra super JDD style deep kiss. No, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I think, I think they're talking about that typical <laughs> mainstream kiss, you know, the, the, oh, little, the little peck where you're barely touching the lips. Yes, yes. If you're on mainstream TV, there will be no deep kiss. There will only be someone, eyes open kiss. Someone donated ten dollars for surety. Thank oh. you. They said, I'm your number one fan. Thank you so much. That's Damn, so sweet. Ten dollars oh, just nice. for for, for oh. loving Chiodi. So great. because because it's a it's a it's a Tokyo Creative Launch um, uh, live stream, someone mm -hmm. asked a very good question. Actually, could please elaborate on the competition aspects of the TC event? So this person obviously looked at our website. The website actually is um, the, the video library down below. We have a competition section, a forum section, and a live stream. Section. Oh, and an offense. We have four sections. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and the competition section is something that um, actually Chris Broad really wanted to push out um, because he wanted to give small creators or professional videographers or photographers a platform where their work can be showcased. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of these uh, creators here in Japan are really talented, but they don't have the awareness to actually get their work noticed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the competition is kind of to learn from our videos on our platform. And then we want you guys to actually submit them onto the platform. Um, users will hopefully rank them in like, I don't know, one to 10 mm. or something. And then that top 10 for that month, Chris Broad, for example, will review them on Tokyo Creative Talk or Tokyo Creative Play. I'm not mm -hmm. sure which one yet, but he's going to review them and kind of give his critique and his remarks. And then we want to have some kind of really big offline event where we have like a, we have like a Tokyo Creative Film Festival <gasps> where we showcase like the top videos, the top films in 2019 on a huge event. And we bring like all this media. Okay. So that's that sounds awesome. I would love to see because like basically um, in especially Chris Broad's video, probably mm. Charlotte as well. They'll be teaching you, and then they'll be putting out like um, homework. Almost. Yes. Yeah, or assignments. assignments. Assignment, like yes. so, you can use what you just learned and then try it out. Like how to edit a video yeah. in this way, oh, and goodness. then you can try it, and then um, when it, when you say competition, does that mean there's going to be like a ranking, like who did it the best? Uh, yeah, so we will, obviously we can't review all thousands if we get thousands, mm -hmm. right? So we want users to, to rank them first, like a you know, like a Reddit kind of mm -hmm. thing, you know, okay. thumb it up or something, um, and then we just take the top ten uh, that a user reviewed, and then one of our uh, creators will review them uh, personally on our channel. Yeah, <gasps> that's really cool. So Chris Broad might actually be checking your edited yeah. documentary or can, style, or even Jake, maybe Jake can hop on board. But uh, yeah, any of our any of our influencers will be hopefully on board to critique one of your videos or photos. Uh -huh. Yeah. Are there any, for, uh, this is actually a question because I know a lot of people are like into photography in Japan. I just thought of it. Is there, is there anybody that's like on board right now that does photography yeah. specifically and it's like, that's their job is photography in Japan? Oh, uh, like a professional photographer, not on Instagram? Yeah, yeah. seriously, like professional uh, No, we don't. No, okay. yeah. There's a lot of people that do that in Japan, like a lot of people that want to do that, like mm -hmm. they're just getting started here or inspired. I've noticed that like even one of my friends, he's like a, started as a moderator and like you're listening now, he's a friend of mine that lives here. Mm -hmm. It's like his hobby, but I'm sure like, if, Someone, a lot of people that actually want to pursue that, I think. And like, there's some people that take really good photos, but I don't know if it's like a saturated thing. I don't know. How well, I mean, te works. technically, we have Elsa running Tokyo. She's a professional, I would say, Instagram photographer. Okay. It's all, it's all about travel. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, they, um, they, I don't know where they're building their portfolios, but Instagram is obviously a really good. I mean, that's how it's transitioned. Like, yeah. all photographers need to have an Instagram portfolio. Right. Yeah. And obviously, yeah. You, can, you can monetize that, you know, all the better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that's great for that. But I'm sure we'll have someone on eventually because um, I think that's one of those things where like, yeah. a professional photographer could teach you so much about, oh. like, techniques for photography, how to edit your photos. I think the industry, industry stuff would be really important in Japan specifically. Mm -hmm. More because I'm sure a lot of photographers can take the photos and do them really well, mm -hmm. but behind the scenes stuff is that. Like, I don't know. I'm looking out for you, Cloud. That's a great point. Like, yeah, how yeah. you can get your like various gigs how, as a photographer. How can you make a living off taking photos in Japan? Yeah. That's yeah. How I'm really someone, someone, someone said, Who's got the bottle? Because that girl, I want her, I want her to be my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she said, You have many, many, many fans in this. Oh, man. Sure. Everyone's, everyone's saying like, don't be, I'm not trying to be creepy, but I want to be that girl's boyfriend. Oh, oh, that's, um, that's sweet. Thank you. Someone's asking, when will Tokyo Creative LA start up? I guess they heard about Ooh. that somehow. Well, we should ask you. Wait, Tokyo Creative LA? Yeah. yeah. Did you not know about that? No, of course I mean, you knew I think, that. I think I like, I thought it was a joke. I'm, 
<laughs> but that's just, it's basically Jake's and my initiative to push out TCLA since we're both from LA, actually. So we are going to push it out together, right, Jake? Yes. He yes. probably just heard about this right janitor. now. Yes. But, but yes, he will. <laughs> I'm going to be the janitor. I want to go there, too. I want to go, too. I've only been to LA like once. But yeah, we'll save a week for you guys a year or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fly out the team. Yeah. Um, this is a good question. How hard is it to work as a freelance freelancer mm. or start a business in Japan? It's very hard. Very I mean, you would know the most about starting a business, of course. Very hard. Actually, on my interview with you mm -hmm. on Tokyo Creative Talk, I t uh, you, that was the last question you asked me, remember? Yeah. You asked me, would you would you recommend anyone to start a business in yeah. Japan? And my answer was, unfortunately, not really. <laughs> Just simply because there's a lot of barriers when it comes to Japan, right? Yeah. No matter what it is in Japan, actually, there's a lot of barriers with everything as a foreigner. Yeah. Because they don't really, not to be rude, but they don't really trust yet fully a foreigner. Yeah. I mean, it kind of rightly so because you're not technically on a visa, right? So you could just pop in, pop out. Right. right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there was, it was pretty difficult. Uh, I think the visa is one of the most, the biggest issues, actually, uh, because you can't start a business without, um, I think it's a entrepreneur visa, I think it's called, you need. Yeah. Okay. And for that visa, you need to have like a down, a, a capital, yeah. a minimum mm -hmm. amount of capital, as well as you need to submit all these documents. Um, and I think it's only, it only comes out like a one yearly. Thing, I think, crazy. and after every year, you have to like report your, all of your like your revenue and your, all your sales to the government mm -hmm. to make sure that you're still operating correctly. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, but yeah, so actually, I wouldn't recommend it. Me, luckily enough, I have a different visa that's because I'm Japanese, so I, I don't have to go through that kind of mm -hmm. BS. So, right, that's very um, true. But yeah, I, I kind of lucked out actually on that. Mm -hmm. So starting a business is yeah, it's definitely not without its challenges. It's very difficult. Mm. Being freelance is kind of a, a different thing because freelance can be a lot of different things. You could mm. be doing all kinds of different work freelance. So it's hard to say concretely, like if you if it's difficult to do or not, it depends on what you're doing. Um, technically, I'm freelance as well. Mm. I do a lot of like um, kind of talent, like performing work. So I mean, if I was here, not, a, not as a Japanese citizen, I would probably go on an entertainment visa. Um, but like freelance. So I mean, I think that's the tricky thing about that is always being able to continue getting work. Mm -hmm. um, so as long as you're able to, to be active and like be part of agencies and stuff like that, then you can make it work. And you need to do a lot of filing tax, did mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's also a bit hard part for the freelance. Yeah, yes, it is. So many withholding tax, how, how to, you, you need to make your invoice by yourself? Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. So I mean, you gotta, manage yourself which is kind of difficult yeah aligning the japanese very complicated yes. role yes even for japanese it's very hard to read those uh terms and the yeah. old, old details it is many people are asking like how often do you see foreign owned business in tokyo i don't see lots like original indian curry for example <laughs> <laughs> what there are some. That's, that's I heard of because someone said I heard of people starting restaurants in Japan, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure how that works actually. If that restaurant's like a registered company or maybe under some kind of Japanese company that owns a bunch of the restaurants run by foreigners, so yeah. I'm not sure if the foreigners own the restaurant or if it's a registered company. I'm not really in that industry, so let's find sure. out. Yeah, this we could find a, a someone who's a specialist in this industry. We found, a guy, we found a guy who owns a sandwich shop in Harajuku, mm. but I think he has like a Japanese wife. I think a lot of people either have like, uh, a partner, like a partner that like put like starts the initial business and then they hire this person as like the person that actually runs it. Right. I think that's common in a lot of other countries. I see. You're probably right. Like in China, for example, like if foreigners starting a business in China, get luck. Yeah, right. You know, you find a Chinese guy to go 50-50 with you on the startup, but he takes all the paperwork on, on his and on legal shit. Mm, yeah. yeah. What I know, I do have a friend uh, who's French, like he's from France, and he started his own uh, little school, like for like French language school. Mm. His wife is Japanese though, and I think that helped immensely. And you also needed a guarantor like a Japanese guarantor, which was kind of a huge pain because, I mean, you might not have enough like relatives. You should be a, a relative, ideally, or like a very close um, friend, but you need to be a Japanese citizen. So you need to have at least some kind of connection or else it's going to be difficult to be approved to start the business. Yeah, that's yeah. what this person, yeah. just said, this person just said. 
I need to get married to a Japanese person. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. Good luck. <laughs> someone, someone asked a pretty good question about the Tokyo Olympics. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Asking about um, if it's a concern about how hot it's going to be. Oh, oh, I'm concerned. <laughs> I, I really think it was a stupid idea that they're holding the Summer Olympics in Japan. It's going to be so hot. Isn't going to be in a dome for most of like August? It's the dome doesn't have a roof. They were going to make a roof, but then they ran out of money. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, I mean, so they're going to make like a a retractable roof or something, yeah, and then now baseball. they've only got like half a roof because they don't have a roof. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's not looking that's good. Weird. It's not looking that's good. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've heard. They definitely ran out of funding, and it's essentially going to be outdoors. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be rough. Scuffed Olympics. <laughs> Speaking of which, hopefully I can live stream backstage. Tokyo so Korea, that'd be cool. <gasps> backstage, backstage coverage, all access pass, taking big live stuff. And here we have the Japanese cheerleading team getting ready, warming up. Sorry, that was kind of stupid enough, but it was true. I'm ready. I hope you can. I really want to <laughs> be involved some way as well. So yeah, I'm so, showing this uh, ideally. Someone asked uh, another good question about um, because of the 2020 Olympics, mm -hmm. are prices increasing uh, in uh, Japan? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you're going to answer that, but prices do you think prices will remain high in Tokyo because of the because of the Olympics. Well, I for know foreigners in Japan specifically. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some businesses that price things differently, mm -hmm. um, but you know, the question is. I think the question is more pertaining towards oh. what will they will they continue to raise prices for foreigners coming to Japan since they know they're gonna they know they're coming. For like things you buy in stores. Various services or products, mm. yeah. Oh, that's a good question. I know that I'm not sure if this really answers your question, but they are raising the consumption tax like frequently. Mm. So I think that's kind of possibly related to I don't know, maybe funding the Olympics, I'm not sure. Also like the various other things like building more daycares and things like that. But so that means that things like this are going to cost more by 2020 yeah. with it from this year. But I don't think they're specifically going to target foreigners. I don't think so. Yeah, it might be interesting to speculate on, but if I was a business owner and I had a chance to like push out some product in a different way to foreigners for a little bit more expensive, because I know there's gonna be a huge influx, I would probably do that to be honest. I think places like Asakusa, right. like Asakusa, those tourist, well, super tourist trap areas, those places might get more expensive. Mm. Well, I noticed that every time I go uh, abroad, mm -hmm. the airport uh, vending machines are expensive. Or the once you go inside the like, once you pass the you know, ticket the gate, oh. yeah, you the inside the water is so expensive. Yeah, but in Japan, it's the water price one. They changed much. Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. But only that's crazy. Disneyland changed. Oh, yeah, Disneyland, yeah, Disneyland, <laughs> Disneyland is so, so oh, expensive. Yeah, but in, just, <laughs> expensive. but in the airport in Japan, they, those are the places for sure that many foreigners coming. Yeah. But the price won't be changed that much. That's so true. I don't know, but mm, yeah. I don't think <laughs> they <laughs> really yeah. target foreigners too much mm. for those kind of things. But it depends on less. It depends on shop, like you said, yeah. maybe Asakusa or yeah. somewhere need a foreigner to support the, the mm -hmm. place, maybe. Yeah, very touristy areas, you might <clears throat> see a little increase. Someone asked a good question. Um, let's see, do you know uh, Do you know what it's like working as a recruiter in Japan? Hmm. Do you know why I think it's a good question? Because I made a video! Yeah, I just watched them. Yeah, that video is actually on mm -hmm. online, ready public. I talk everything about recruitment agencies and if I would suggest you to work for one. So I think I answered your question there. So go check that out. Yeah. Links down below. Um, <laughs> someone also asked Wait, about. Is there a link down below? Yeah, it's right Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Someone also, also asked about um, the pricing. So they said the first 30 days is free, um, but how much is it after that? Mm -hmm. Do you guys know? Oh, do you guys, do you guys sure know? you can answer that. Yes. Nine point nine nine. Nine ninety nine. Nine for the low low uh, nine, price. Nine, only nine ninety nine. Yeah, we don't say nine point nine nine. Oh right. <laughs> nine point nine nine <laughs> for a month, and if you subscribe for half half year, it will be 
Six ninety nine. Six point nine nine. Six point nine nine. Yeah, so you can save some <laughs> money to yourself for the six months. Really cheap. Yep, compared to all of the quote unquote people that are not companies that are doing similar things, but um, you know, having a video educational platform. Uh, yeah, we're actually really, really cheap. Yeah. So we didn't want to exclude anybody. We wanted everyone to join the community and kind of learn from each other. So mm -hmm. I think what's more important there is that the people under your umbrella is the most important thing there, like me. <laughs> yeah. So Jake, Jake, you gotta upload more videos, man. Yeah, we're making more next week before I go to Europe. Fuck Europe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I look forward to more Jake videos on yeah. TCM. And uh, do you want to give him a little preview? Like, what kind of things are you gonna? Yeah. I mean, I mentioned it just in the beginning, but I mean, basically, it's just for like for me, for all the people that do message me, which is like, I know how Twitch is right now, and how the chat is. Like, there's probably on my channel maybe a few thousand people, and on this channel, I don't know, a few hundred people or something, but. Out of everyone that's watching, these are people that kind of watch me all the time, and mm -hmm. I, everyone's gonna meme and stuff. But out of all you guys, there's a handful of people that actually message me a lot. Uh, I get messages all the time, like, "How do you get to Japan and start live streaming? Like, what, like, what was the beginning of that process? Like, what the fuck did? Sorry, what? <laughs> that's like, okay. That's like, what you're like, what you, what you, you earlier. Yeah, like, like, what do you, what do you use to start? And like, these are questions I've answered before a million times on stream. But the fact that, like, I mean, just for me, for example, you can kind of just like point them right there and be like, this just covers everything. Just there you go. And like, if they're really curious about that, because like mm -hmm. typical, like most people that watch my stream are going to be viewers, they're content consumers. Mm -hmm. So not typical, like the majority of people aren't like, I'm going to be the next live streamer, but there's a handful of people that want to do that. And that's kind of why it's built for that. And so mm -hmm. kind of like walking you through, I guess, mm -hmm. I, it would be from my, my, my pers perspective of what they would learn from my videos is if you are just like interested in live streaming, getting started, whether you know the space or not, and you're curious, like hardware wise, like even the psychology behind like growing a community or whatever it may be on that or mm -hmm. anything in between. Um, hopefully I can like shed that light on them. So they at least mm -hmm. feel a little more comfortable if they start. I mean, but it's not like, it's just like how Chris said, it's not like you're gonna watch the videos and be like a, a professional like live stream. Like I don't even, like even myself, I'm pretty like, you know, scuffed in a lot of ways, but uh, it's gonna give people a head start and a knowledge, which mm -hmm. I mean, to be honest, I, when I first live streamed, I didn't know anything. There wasn't many people that did the outdoor live streaming. Specifically, mm -hmm. this isn't going to be necessarily just computer streaming. It's going to be outside for me. But uh, yeah, I kind of wish I had that knowledge mm -hmm. in, in a lot of ways. But I just kind of just, well, just watched all the streamers that were streaming at that time and kind of like take mental notes, I guess. But right. a lot of people don't, a lot of people aren't as, um, I guess I was familiar with Twitch for years. So, like I was already mm -hmm. very comfortable with Twitch. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't have or don't know that. So. Yeah. Anyways, that's just my take. Cute. I mean, that's like my real talk. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, because there's definitely like so many people who have questions about like, you know, what their favorite YouTuber or like streamer does. And I think like if you're interested, it's hard to give that person all of the information you mm -hmm. want to give them every time. So it's nice to have one platform where you can mm. see all that. Well, the most, diffi most difficult thing, like he was saying, is to get started. Yeah. Mm. Right? Where do you start? Yeah. Like the main question, like for example, for a YouTuber, what camera do I use? You know, you can't even start without a camera and everyone freaks out about what camera is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so. also it, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's not that because you buy the expensive camera, that's why good generation. Yeah. It's not like that, right? Hey, hey, you know, you know what you're leading into? Aki's video on yeah. TC Learn. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking about that you don't need a professional camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so hey. I kind of said that in my hardware video. You don't, yeah, you I, don't need the backpack to stream. You just the iPhone. You said right. Yeah, I mean, I just use the yeah. Samsung. Yeah. The, the most important yeah. thing is you. Yeah. What you said. So I watched your video. Someone, yeah. no, that's true. <laughs> Someone donated twenty dollars. They said, "Have a coffee on me." Yay! That's an expensive oh. coffee. We got a five dollar coffee. Every Thank day. you. Oh, yeah. The one of the biggest. Twenty bucks. Big Thank big you, big 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 Cody Maloney. Big 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 I think it's like a regular size. Starbucks is like five bucks. Oh, uh, yeah, but if you go to a company coffee, that's like five coffees per person. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yo, Thank you. Speaking of hardware, shout out to Unlimited IRL. Just gives you a bunch of subs in my chat. Five subs. That's a, that's my sponsor for my data. Oh, Go nice. Unlimited IRL. Yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll okay. contact signups, by the way. I only want to watch you. I'll contact signups. Are you? Yeah. I'll, this, okay, I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I talked to him soon. <laughs> Um, but someone also asked, uh, they're it's confused. My donor. It's not 9.99 yen, obviously. It's not 9 yen, which is 9 cents. <laughs> it's 9.99 USD, so $9, around $10, or $7 for the six-month plan. Mm -hmm. 
Distortion X skipped his mustache. Someone said you skipped a donut. Someone said shout out Red Monkey. I'll just do it. Shout oh, out. Right. Red. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Don't. I mean, you don't need. You should have done was, that. But I was. Just, I was. I was assuming that's you. It, it's. it's one of, Red. Red Monkey is like a meme member of my viewership. Yeah. That is. Mm. Sorry. I, we, were, we were discussing something, and I yeah, started yeah. laughing because I saw this and looked at you, and I was like, Oh wait, I think he's Red Monkey. <laughs> no, I'm not, oh no, I'm not Red Monkey. That, oh, you're not, not Red Monkey. No, <laughs> I am Red. That's you, mother. I am Red. Okay, oh, sorry. Support. Dermatitis. I thought you were supposed to be red monkey. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. God, night. No, was... right. <laughs> so any good, nice. any good Mexican food in Japan? Yeah, we went yeah. to one the other day. Yeah, okay. No, you're just horrible. That I hate that. You have to hug you, right? I had diarrhea. Yeah, it's it. pretty good. I oh, hate that one. Did. It wasn't diarrhea, but I had sticky. T- like, oh, we can't talk about this. Oh, it was yeah. Like tar. <laughs> well, I, think, I, think, I don't know why you like that place so much. It's, it's like good. Uh, out of ten, I'll say it's like two. Then where's the like, best? Uh, Nakameguro. Yeah. Hacienda. Hacienda? Has, no, not Hacienda. Junkadelic. Junkadelic, yes. Uh, or or <laughs> or frijoles or frijoles. Frijoles is, is even better. Not real like Mexican. That's not real Mexican, yo. That's like no, that's that's plain shit. No. That's true. Frijoles doesn't even count. Me, I think me and Jake from LA know Mexican better than you. It, it was okay. Frijoles is like uh, American. It's like Chipotle. Chipotle. Yeah. yeah, but Chipotle is. I mean, it's <laughs> it covers the. It satisfies your. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's, it's good. Right? It's yeah. good. It's just like if you're probably if you're actually Mexican, you just be like. Frijoles. Yeah, but that, yeah, crap. yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying. But like compared to yours, it's more like yours, like very Japanese, Japanesey. No, it's not. It's like one of the less Japanese ones. I've been to others that are. <laughs> They're calling you Aya. They call you what? Aya. It's, it's. Oh, that's supposed to be her. No, her. Oh, her. What's that? They said Aya is like because you're like this, and Aya is basically the meme for an anime, like a cute small Japanese anime girl. Like, oh, Aya. Yeah. Oh, that's why everyone's saying Aya. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Cutie! So it's like a You're a cute movie. anime girl. It's 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 it doesn't have any negative. It's actually more probably a positive, cute connotation than anything negative. So. <laughs> Yay! So this this person is commenting saying, from my understanding, com- companies in Japan will be reluctant to hire you if you don't have a degree because it'll be hard to get the visa. Yeah, that's what yeah. I, that's why I said in my video actually. Okay. Exactly. So, Very uh, true. Yeah, because it's it's. Uh, I mean, Charity's kind of done that. Been there, done that with the visa process. Mm-hmm. It's pretty tiring. And it's uh, there's a lot of documents they need that the company needs to submit on the employee's behalf, and that's a pain in the butt. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Also, I think a lot of companies will ask for like a some kind of Japanese certification, uh, like like JLPT. Yes. Um, they might ask for like JLPT at least level two is something that I see often. You, if you're lucky, maybe you'll get a you can get a job that doesn't even require Japanese, but that's. Probably more rare than than not. Usually, mm. they'll want you to have some Japanese, at least conversational ability, so you can communicate with the people in your office or something like that. Yeah, so Japanese. those are necessary too. Got to study your Japanese. Surely, this like it's like spamming ayaya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Talk about that. Yeah, it's just like holy oh, smoke. Topic. Basically, as soon as you talk, as soon as it's one topic, does you might think about it, they just go crazy about it. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. Let's see. Which is, no, it's, it's nice. uh, <laughs> is it mostly bachelor's degrees or a, or do associate's degrees work as well? That's an interesting question. Actually, I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Like sure a tier, tier degree, because in most countries, they don't really have associates. Like an American thing, isn't it? I don't know. I actually don't even know. Is it the equivalent to English? A... I'm not sure because the Gakui graduate school. Wait, what? No, the university. Not... University. Grad school is associate's degree is a two year degree. So it's like mm. so when I went when I was going for a marketing degree, which is a four year degree, along the way, like I com- I happened to complete a two year accounting associate's degree. But it's not it's not like in America if I apply for a job in associate's degree, like it's not really like a it's it's like they'll require a four year degree right. for the most part. I don't know if it's on par with like a simongaku simongaku yeah. yeah, maybe it's on par with like a I don't, I don't know how to speak email, but uh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, that job, if the, as long as you have the, you graduate, mm-hmm. uh, gakko, the, which is vocational school, school or university, mm-hmm. uh, two years, four years, there are chances. But oh. uh, uh, like uh, Jake said, the, it's going to be the, the difference between the, uh, the pay range as well. Because oh. the, two years is 
uh, okay, but maybe compared to four years, mm -hmm. the knowledge you got from university is uh, it's not a it's not a lot mm -hmm. more than two years, right? Right. I'm sorry, it's less okay. than less than the four, four years. years. Yeah. Yes, that's why. That's how uh, going to be different. Mm -hmm. But there are chances. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter about your associate or the poly 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 poly. No, like the poly poly poly. Well, that sounds yeah. like a Tetris game <laughs> in the Japanese language. Uh, Polypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypolypol
depends on how level you are, I guess. Yeah. And also, what so many girls are, are like, oh, I want mommy, so maybe I can try. Yeah, but they, the... oh, oh no, my naked thing is there. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I don't get too detailed. It's just kind of in front of the hand. All right. You seem to know a lot about yes, this. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, so just. I, I have so many. Yeah, if you're just on my stream, I'll say so many jokes. That's so I'm like, you sound so familiar with this. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, but so, that's, that's, that's true, though. Looks like some people want to learn more about the anime industry and fashion industry. Oh, Joey and Aki. Yeah, Joey and Aki can, can cover that. Yeah. That I think Joey control. also knows a little bit about like background of the industry because he's met probably a lot of different like anime studios and stuff. I yeah. Uh, his videos. Yeah, yeah. But so he can teach you all so much. You'll be you'll be making more videos too, right? I will be. I actually haven't made mine yet. What are you? What are you, What kind of topics are you going to cover? Ooh, well, I was thinking like the the topic that I'm more knowledgeable about would be the talent industry in Japan. So how you can get started if you wanted to be like a model or actor or voice actor. I mean, we, we're going to have a voice actor who's going to talk more about that anyway. But I mean, generally getting started in the entertainment industry and like what you'll need to do, um, what is kind of expected of you, I guess, when you, when you go to jobs. And if it's difficult for foreign people to be doing it, what kind of roles are available? I mean, I think I can talk about various things like that if anybody's interested. Hi. You're interested? <laughs> oh, yay. So good. Like, uh, idol and music industry. Ooh, oh, that's your yes. friend, no? I don't, oh. I don't, I'm not sure about you. Idol Tom? <laughs> no, no. Oh, wait, real idol? Real idols. Uh, we have, there's a few that stream on Twitch in Japan. Mm. Um, and I'm like, there's, yeah, we had one that just retired, I think, or graduated, but mm -hmm. she hasn't, she's just there. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. How about someone's graphic design industry? That's, that's a good one. Oh, that's, yeah. good one. that's hard. I've done a lot of graphic design. Now it's freelance and in-house graphic design is like only for really big companies, I think. Mm. But I'm not a professional, don't ask me. Right. But I'm sure. someone, someone I know. Mm, mm, mm. This one. I, I want to be a conveyor belt sushi chef. How do I start? Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, I know like I, I heard about it as a foreigner that actually came here and like studied sushi for fun and then actually like became a chef at his oh, home country and like, opened up a like a business in Spain or wherever he was, I forgot what it was, but Oh, that's really cool. Mm. We could get a sushi chef on here. I actually know someone who who is a sushi chef. Really? What? Yeah, and at a very like high class restaurant. Yeah, okay. We could get him on. Yeah, right. Here. We're giving you invited this year. And he speaks English, so. Oh, oh that's perfect. Yeah. Can, I go, can you ask him if I can go live stream in the sushi place? Maybe uh, I could ask. It's like an omakase, like seven seater, like. It's very very expensive. Like three hundred bucks oh. person. <laughs> um. I think the discount friend price was like a hundred bucks per person. Oh, so that's nothing. But I think, or actually, <laughs> yeah, about a hundred bucks per person. And then um, I think for for real price, I don't know what it would be. Uh, that'd be cool. Per person, three hundred. A lot of the target going to Omakase is with the camera because. And you uh, can only fit like a few people in the restaurant. It's that's nice. Tiny and exclusive. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyway, we're on our last twenty minutes of this stream. So if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. And uh, please check out the link in the description down below to check out Took Creative Learn as this video is all about Took Creative Learn. Mm -hmm. This is your last 20 minutes to ask any questions regarding Took Creative Learn or any suggestions that you want to give to us to make Took Your Creative Learn more suitable to meet your interests or your needs. Oh, so mm -hmm. please comment. And if you want to have a direct question to Jake, uh, please write that as well. Mm -hmm. oh. Or and, to anybody here. And you're going to check out the site already. That'd be, if you do, if you don't have a question, you can like check out the site and just browse it and then see if any questions pop up in your mind. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And once again, if you're near here, it's first 30 days free for signups in March. So um, if I were you, I'd take advantage of it because that's free content. Very true. And like every month after that is incredibly cheap. It's only like six bucks a month. Yep. Have you worked in seven? Seven. 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 No, I haven't. I but I could. Oh, sorry. That's a joke. Whoa. It's a joke. That's, God damn it. Whoa. I'm going to shoot him. fire. No, no, that's just. Oh, just God. No, I'm, I'm really kidding. Right. <laughs> I don't care. Sorry. <laughs> I got to make people laugh. That's my thing. I know. God damn it, Jake. What's that? Uh, <laughs> all good. So someone wants someone wants us to teach, Norm to teach Shamisen, I guess, on TC Learn. That's Classic Jake. Teach Shamisen. I oh, mean, that's, you could, but it's very. Let's hear someone, someone wants us to invite Naomi Osaka. 
<laughs> the famous uh, Japanese tennis player. Yeah. She's half American. Oh, okay. I've heard that. Yeah. Uh, she's yeah. big in Japan. But I, I assume she'd be very hard to get on the show. Someone wants to know <laughs> about foreign cool. tax laws. <laughs> Oh, that sounds... They wanted me to make a video about that. Yeah, I'm having my own difficulties. Not understanding yep. it. Yep, yep. Tedious. Tedious. Yes. Supposedly, if someone thinks Shizuka knows Jiro because they're sushi friends. Oh, Jiro. It's not, it's not Jiro. <laughs> I wish I knew Jiro. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, yeah, so uh, a lot of IT questions. Everyone's asking about how to get into the IT. Yeah, I think Twitch in particularly has like a huge... Uh, mm. like tech uh, developers. Mm. It seems like web developers like IT industry in some in some shape or form. Mm -hmm. IT is pretty big. Yeah, I think it'd be. I would be really interested in seeing uh, IT videos as well because that's not something that I'm knowledgeable about. So if mm. someone with that background is kind of teaching us, these are actually pretty interesting. More very detailed. Because I'm like, you know, what is the minimum wage or living, you know, normal living wage per prefecture in Japan? Uh. What is considered middle class and what is considered poverty in Japan? Mm, mm, mm. That's a really interesting question. I think you would know best. Me? Yeah, since you've been here the longest. <laughs> and you're Japanese. And you're she would know the best. Oh, right. So we forgot. She's, <laughs> <laughs> She's completely Japanese. I know. But <laughs> they, they take on a different in the, in the other area because my yeah. parents are from Okinawa. Mm -hmm. Okinawa is, huh. is uh, way lower than Tokyo. Mm -hmm. For sure. Right. And also McDonald's price is also different in Japan. Depends on the region. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's how the uh, wage range is different. So yeah, that, that would be a good interesting topic to cover. So yeah. let's research properly. Of course. Mm -hmm. And I assume that wages in Tokyo would be the highest. So the net. Mm -hmm. all, yes. Out of all of Japan. There's actually really good suggestions on here. Someone wants some questions about the medical fields. Ooh. How to become like a doctor, which is weirdly actually we got we got an inquiry from a doctor YouTuber. Really? Yeah. A doctor YouTuber? A yeah, YouTuber is a doctor. Wow. And she and the person trying to become a doctor in Japan. I'm not I'm not trying to she I think she will become a doctor. It's yeah. super interesting. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that would be interesting. I but know. that's a really interesting point. Um. We could get a doctor on on TC Learn to mm. talk about that. But I think it's it really comes with this challenge because you obviously need to be able to speak Japanese unless you're at a at somehow at an Foreign all English or something. Clinic. Yeah. But I think <laughs> Yeah, but I think even if you work at a, a English speaking clinic, you're still gonna be getting Japanese patients. Mm. Like I don't think you just be like, oh sorry you're Japanese, you can't come in. Sure. That's not gonna happen. So you need to be fluent in Japanese. Mm. That's probably the first challenge. Yeah. I could be a doctor. And my Japanese is good enough. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just start, start up here and practice. <laughs> I might be able to welcome people in your door. Someone wants to know about uh, the Japanese music industry, more specifically anime music. Oh. Like, I guess how it's, I don't know, created or produced in Japan. Anime music. Can you Joey for that one? Yeah, that's yeah. They, they said they said Joey. Yeah. Marriage laws in Japan. That's probably gonna be so. Ma Ooh, that's. I mean, I'm not married, so I wish I knew a little bit more about it. But yeah. Ah, so someone actually said, "What is the? What do you see as the future for Tokyo Creative past TC Learn?" Ooh, Shorty Chan. Nani. Take the take the ropes. <laughs> yeah. mm. Eh, what what is the future of TC past TC Learn? Like after after TC Learn. Globalization, LA Creative, Jake and I head to LA <laughs> and rock LA. But first of all, we need to establish the really good community in Japan. I guess. No, 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 they're, they're assuming but, that's already established. What's after that? But that's the first thing we need to do, yeah. Well, they, but they're saying past that. What's past that? Oh. What, what are the future then maybe plans? L L A, Taipei, yeah. Jakarta. <laughs> Yeah, Jakarta. 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 We want Jakarta. to go to Indonesia. <laughs> because Indonesia has that's, Bali. That's offensive. That's what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's <laughs> saying. Jakarta. That's my English problem. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jakarta. 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 That's how you say it in Japanese, Chris. Jakarta. Jakarta. <laughs> but why, why Jakarta? So LA first and then 
you want to go to Jakarta for I don't the know, next that's, that's the that's where we Japanese like <laughs> <laughs> Japanese people like Jakarta so it's the, the best next people like Indonesia the Bali oh yeah <laughs> well that would be really exciting I've, I've offended a Jakartanese yes really? the j- Jakartanese as Jakartanese I'm offended oh that's I don't that's think it's a Jakartanese you're probably Jakartan uh, someone said let's do journey across Eurasia Chris brought ultimate cycling. <laughs> Eurasia. What is Eurasia? It's like the comes, you know, Europe and Asia. Asia, Eurasia. yeah. Ooh. All of You know, like uh, Kazakhstan, right? It's technically like Eurasia. Yeah. Oh, right? it's, like, it's, like, it's like a European country, but with a lot of Asian influence. Mm-hmm. Or vice versa. I forget. I think, yeah. <laughs> that would be a, amazing. Someone wants a TC Learn Android app. Ooh. Where are we going to get our developer? <laughs> That's a great idea. Like gonna We're going to get two developers happen. from the TC Learn like content sharing area where we can rate the top 10 developers submitting their app ideas. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> we have that as competition one. I mean, that's, I don't know. Competition, the best person gets a job. That takes a lot more totally work than yeah. to go to competition. Oh, the artist community, including foreign artists living and working in Japan, like paint painters or draw, drawers or Drawers. Drawers. Not the proper word. Well, I was thinking drawers. drawers. <laughs> I'm a drawer. A professional I'm a professional drawer. You don't say that? No, you don't. Illustrator? <laughs> Illustrator. That's the artist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I draw pictures. Oh, so um, oh. that'd be good. Obachan. Obachan. Jonesing from Japan. Just want to say Konichiwa from Obachan. Hi. Obachan, that's your mom. Hi, Shorty. Yeah. Oh, well, he did it twice. I just want to say konnichiwa from Oba. He's one of our he's one of our creators. Yeah, we will see you soon. Yes. Oba. Jonesing for Japan? Mm. Actually, he, he did this twice. Maybe he made a mistake. Uh, <laughs> twice. Ha, ha, ten bucks sucks for you, Jones. <laughs> Jones <Jonesy>. uh, <laughs> Twice. Easy money. Mine now, yoink. <laughs> someone uh someone basically asked a very generic question. What type of job can a foreigner get in Japan speaking very little to no Japanese? Mm. Da 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 teaching English. Yes. Or recruiting. That's the easiest. Like like we mentioned previously, and oh, that's about right. it, I think. And uh, I guess uh, you should do a lot of networking, can it? Then even though you know how the, uh, Japanese, Japanese. Yeah, but at the same time, if you're like a low level worker, there's no way, like there's no way, there's no most likely no marketing or advertising or designer or um. any kind of finance gigs available. You can start from the English teacher and then yeah. Yeah. you just can uh, see what you can do it the next step. Yeah. Yeah. And you can work your, work your way up from English teaching. You can get your first like visa from English teaching and then... And for English teaching also there are so many variations in teaching for kids, teaching for adults, teaching in university. Mm-hmm. So many uh, special specialties in there as well. Right. So yeah, there's a lot of options. Yeah. So English teacher first, and then and then do some job hunting, and then mm. if you're lucky, you can find you can maybe snag yourself a good I job. Don't know English. I don't know English. International hotel chain. Someone's asking. Um, uh, hotel. If I yeah, the hotel. Oh no, apartment. If I want, uh, if I want, if one, if one buy a lot of stuff in Japan at their for their apartment, how do you transfer that stuff to the apartment? From their home country. From their home country. Like, so I guess I guess move from their home country to oh. Japan, and how would they go about that? I don't know. I don't bring it. I don't bring it. Sell it or yeah. put it in storage and you buy your other shit here. What did you do? Did you bring anything? No, I just got right. a suitcase. You know, because I think um, it is really expensive to ship. Like you'd have to ship your stuff. Because I had uh, I did that. Well, my mom did that when she came over here um, mm-hmm. with some of our stuff because we we came over from Canada. Um, but it is quite expensive. Like if you have like larger items, then mm-hmm. that they charge you a whole lot. I don't know how much it was, but I think you need to. It's probably cheaper to just buy your stuff here, mm-hmm. to be honest, and, and just ship over your like most important. Yeah, we should have your elephant tusks and like gold that you dug up in a mine or something. Mm-hmm. Well, some relics <laughs> from a temple. Yes. Totally. You don't want to throw them away. Yeah. You don't need those. Someone's asking if I need glasses and some can't breathe. <laughs> so that is very yeah. small font. Like, just zoom it in. Is. Why don't you just... Yeah, can I zoom in? Oh! oh, oh I know it. Oh. We only have 10 minutes. Mind blown. And you just 
just discovered that you mind can blown. Uh, mind, <laughs> mind blown. <laughs> Christopher. I don't need glasses. I just, you know. It's like my mom called me across the room. She's like, Jake, my, <laughs> I can't read the Facebook comments. Like, mom, oh, there's a good of you in Zoom. And she was like, ah! Oh! And I'm like, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It was he was obviously it was joking with you guys. <laughs> uh, someone wants Shorty to teach cooking. Oh, oh okay. Is, how yeah. to send stuff from Japan back home is what, what he says. Donald, I don't know right there. Right there. Oh, how to send stuff from Japan back, back home. home. Oh, then you're just going to have to I think most, it. I think most people just sell it off, right? And most people probably sell it for you. Out That's why there's a bunch of Facebook groups that are like, you know, sayonara sale. There you go, right? sayonara yeah. sale. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, if you wanted to, um, then you'd have to ship it all back home and pay for whatever that costs. <laughs> so, um, I guess let's just wrap, try to wrap it up and talk about, I guess, your guys, I've been kind of talking about Tisa Land a lot. Mm -hmm. How about you guys? Um, from my view, Chizuka and Jake as the what we call experts on the Tisa Land platform. Um, Expert. What? Why do you think it's a beneficial platform for both of you guys to be teaching? Mm. Uh, what do you think you just can get out of your videos? Well, I think. Well, personally, I think for everybody as well, it's, it's just one of those, it's a platform where you can really give like specific information and, and detailed information about how to get started in any industry. Um, and yeah, especially if you want to become an influencer, what are the important things you need to know? Because it's hard to navigate in the industry when you, if you're just getting started, like there's just so much that you don't know until you've been doing it for a while. And, and this way you can kind of avoid some of the errors that maybe we all had when we started out. And for me, I mean, I think I'd focus a little bit more on the talent industry, but also it might expand into other things, just living in Japan. Um, I don't know, being a foreigner or like half Japanese in Japan, if that's something that people are interested in. Um, so it's, it's a place where you can really learn specific things more than maybe in a regular YouTube video. It's gonna be more educational and professionally formatted, I would say. So I think that's what you can get out of it. You can get really important, like useful information. And I think that's kind of the same for you, but why do you think this is? Uh, I mean, I, I actually, like, I think in my first little real talk speech was pretty good if they could rewind it, but it was basically like, uh, um, what did I say the first time? <laughs> no, but uh, for me, it's just like, it, it's, it's somewhere that people can go to like, answer all the questions in one well-formatted spot instead of just Googling shit Stuff, stuff, doing stuff, and uh, so I don't know. I'm just trying to talk. It's okay. <laughs> my mom got mad at me this morning for cussing so much on my stream. Uh, yeah, so like just doing stuff and finding all these different stuff and piecing it together in your mind and maybe feeling a little weird. It's like it's nice to have perspective from people who have been here who are obviously doing something that's successful here. Not not talking about myself, but in the people that all the people that under the umbrella. It's uh, pretty cool to like me personally working with him because like I just watched Chris Brock videos like years ago before I ever even thought about coming to him randomly like when I just came to travel. Here. Anyways, to like kind of have all these uh, formatted ideas from the people who have been here doing something at least decently um, in one spot. And um, for me specifically, it's just for like live streaming stuff. So for the I don't know thousand people watching, let's just say if there's if there's ten people that are interested in coming to Japan, whether it be live stream specifically whether it's in Japan or not, or uh, like a YouTuber or whatever it may be, um, having somewhere to go. And, and if you're if you're like a viewer of mine, it's even more, maybe more interesting to you because you get my personal value or opinion on stuff. Um, more than, I mean, I talk a lot in my stream, so it's kind of weird because I talk a lot in my stream. I'm like very open about everything. I don't hide anything, but like, it's just all in one place, which makes it simple. Ooh, and it's right. more like, I'm never really professional as you guys know, and so it's like, if they actually want to get my real answers and like professional, yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah, this is your chance to see professional, Jake. Yeah, which is weird, which is so weird. Why is that bold old tomato speaking so much? All right, dude. <laughs> bold old tomato. Shorty, from a Japanese perspective, what do you think? Um, I always get the uh, questions from my employees or other uh, influencers, like how to, how to get a certificate of residence. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the, what is this document and those uh, small uh, 
small things but very important things are everywhere in Japan. Mm -hmm. So if we can just provide those uh, information, it's a bit uh, pain the back to do, but mm -hmm. you need to do in Japan. So yeah. those things, uh, if you, we Japanese can help out to to put those information in this platform, mm -hmm. I thought that'd be good for you guys. So yeah. I, will, I want to try to gather those very uh, very men look lazy, pain the back to Google yeah. mm -hmm. uh, stuff in this Mm -hmm. And I think to end it up, we got a huge $20. Ooh. Congrats to the birth of your vision with Tokyo Creative and launch of TC Learn. Super impressed. Dude, lunch, beers for everyone. Zima for Jake. Aloha from LA. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that is so sweet. Thank I you. Want so that Thank you, Dan King. I want that Thank 20 you. bucks. Pay up. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. After this, we should go get some lunch on Dan. I'm gonna be streaming. So oh, I, I, I right gotta now. go to work after this. Yeah. <laughs> I get to jump in on that. All right, well, I think maybe we should wrap it up then. Mm. Um, yeah, just to reiterate, uh, link in the description down below for Tokyo Creative Learn. All the questions you guys asked in this stream can be, uh, for the most part, answered on that platform. Um, and then signing up in March, in the month of March, is, uh, we get 30 days free. So. Mm -hmm. And Definitely check one, it out. We are going to do another live stream on other channel, right? Yeah, we'll have another live stream on Joe Creative Play, uh, featuring Joey, nice. Aki, Emma, and sure. Uh, me, Ma, me again. Yeah, Joey, right? yeah. So yeah, stay tuned for that live stream uh, as well as um, some other videos that'll be coming out later this week. Mm. Yes. Thank you guys so much for staying. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yay! Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. 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 And stream. Mm -hmm. um, my stream is going to still go to chat.